Right, here's a brief video on my hydraulic vise. Uh, I'll just show you operating to start with and then I'll tell you a bit about it. Okay, uh, that's opening. Now you notice it opens quite slowly and that's because of the hole in the size of the hydraulic power pack. The cylinder itself is capable of opening a lot faster than that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, has a single acting hydraulic cylinder, so that's what these springs are here for to pull the pull it back in, make it open again. Um, swivel base. There's a pin in right in the middle underneath. You can't see it. And bolt there. And bolt there. You loosen the bolts, obviously, and swivel it around. Down here, hiding in the corner here, is the hydraulic power pack. Uh, it's a standard uh, hydraulic power pack used for things like tipping trailers, a uh, 12 volt job. I'm uh, pretty sure it runs at 150 bar, which is 2200 psi roughly. And because it's 12 volt, I've put this here, which is a uh, 12 volt power pack, um, sorry, 12 volt power supply, uh, I think it's rated at about 100 amps, so it's a darn big power supply, uh, and it can run this thing no trouble. Uh, I've got plastic covers over the solenoid and over the electric motor just to stop um, metal swarf and grindings and the likes just landing on top of the electrical connections because if that shorted out it would be bad. Uh, the hydraulic cylinder down here, sorry the hydraulic reservoir down here is a homemade job because this power pack I bought second hand uh, for a very low price uh, but it didn't come with the reservoir, it had been used in a big tank reservoir. Um, so. The uh, bits of tin can that are strapped on here over the rubber hydraulic hose are only put there to stop grindings coming off my angle grinder from melting the rubber sheathing on the hose. You can see what I've written in there about the packers. Uh, there's packers there, there, there and underneath. Uh, they're just made out of bits of sheet metal to take up the slot between the, this bit of RHS box section steel and this bit of RHS so it's got minimal amount of slop. So those sheet metal packers run the full length through here and out this end. Uh, this hydraulic cylinder was made out of a leftover piece of hydraulic cylinder tubing that came off my tractor uh, the tube had some rust in one end of it, so I had to replace the tube for the tractor cylinder. Uh, I just cut this bit off, uh, which didn't have rust in it, put a new end on it with a connection in there, and uh, put a, had to put a circlip in there to stop it popping out this end. Um, and I made a piston that goes inside, which I can't really show you. Um, the piston just uses an ordinary o-ring seal. Uh, uh, the piston's made out of a piece of aluminium that I had lying around. Um, and surprisingly with just an o-ring it works perfectly, it doesn't leak at all. So you don't need to buy a sophisticated uh, expensive hydraulic seals to do jobs where it's just moving occasionally. By my calculation, the hydraulic pump there, which runs at 2,200 psi or 155 bar, is putting about two and a half tons pressure on these jaws when it's closing. Um, and by my calculation, that's about twice the pressure you get on this uh, manual vise when you're winding the handle.
I cut grooves along here and down there in order that I could put stuff like round stuff like this in it and hold it so it wouldn't move once the vise was done up. Bye. <laughs>